Buenos mornings. Buenos mornings. This is Casa Magica. So last night we stayed up there somewhere. We should have got a bit more of our footage up there. This is the breakfast and dining room. Food was good, breakfast was okay. Pretty standard pilgrim breakfast really. And out here there's a bit of a pool which we didn't use because we had a bigger pool the night before. Hammocks and stuff over the other side. There's the staff having their breakfast. And it's what we like to see a nice grey overcast day because that's going to make a bit of a change from 38 degrees. I'm actually serious about that because it's been so hot. Anyway, adios. I think there was a lot of noise going on downstairs as well that I could hear in the distance and muffle, but it was really good with the earplugs. Yeah, you definitely need earplugs. Because when you rock up and there's 18 people in your room, it gets noisy. So that's the lesson for day six or seven or Three Spanish doggy going up the hill. <coughs> if you do end up staying in Villa Tuerca at La Casa Magica, we recommend booking ahead so you don't end up in the 18 bed dorm because <coughs> it's never real fun. It was okay there. But however, Straight out the door, and there's a bar that with air conditioning. It's very good. So if it's high thirties like we had yesterday, you need it. And here's the pilota court. We've not seen anyone playing pilota anywhere, but we've seen plenty of pilota courts. Yep. So maybe we'll see some pilota one day. There's always a few people that like to take quite a bit of pride in the appearance of the house and put flowers and stuff hanging out from the balcony. And there's the church. With the bells that like to ring all through the night. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's the same everywhere. Just get so. used to that. Yeah. Buenos dias. It's a little bit uphill here, but it's not as bad as going up the other street. That was about 45 degrees. To get us to the same bit. <laughs> to get us to the same bit. <laughs> we found that out yesterday. Slightly. Without our packs. So longer uphill, but it's uh, gets you to exactly the same spot. So. I'd rather do a little bit longer with half the gradient. There's barrows that you see. See the pavement? There's a That's an exceptionally big one. Largest arrow mark in the way that I've ever seen. Yep. And we've done over 100k. So we've seen a few thousand arrows so far. Yeah. <laughs> At least a thousand anyway. And there's. We've got Estella Lazara says 3.2 kilometers, but that's further than that. I think that's to the outskirts of where we're going. It's about 5, 4.8, something like that. Okay. Into Estella. So, this pretty much sums up today. In Estea, making it easy for once. Things have been a bit uh, rush, rush, rush. 
got into the groove of rushing for beds because yeah. it's unseasonally busy. Unfortunately, we sort of lost our group you know, ahead of us. We don't yeah. want to catch up with some of them now. It seems to be like a whole new world of people behind us that we don't know. So I guess we need to make some more new friends, family criminals. I think everyone will crash in a couple of days though. So Maybe we'll catch up with them all then. We'll probably catch up as they crash over the next mm -hmm. few days. Tomorrow's a long day. We're going to have a set of family. Make sure our feet are sort of good tonight. And the first port of interest to be the, whichever is excited about, is the wind. But Degas, the Karachi. Yeah, it's the wind front. So that'll be good fun in the morning. Uh, we'll see you then. Hasta luego. Adios.